I'm going to show you every single optimal plane design and tell you when and why you should use it backed by data. When it comes to these designs in general, there's a few things we need to keep in mind. Number one, the engines. We usually just use the maximum level of a single engine that we can afford at this time. Dual engines, as you can see, cost twice as much. Who would have thunk? Weird how that math works out. And we do get a little bit of more thrust, but we just catapult our IC cost up here. It's not really worth it, especially if we're playing with miners. Number two, we do want the maximum engine that we can get because we want more thrust because we can put more guns on our stuff you can opt for jet engines for shorter range defenses because jet engines are very strong but they're super bad which is kind of <laughs> kind of funny out of context they're very fast and very agile but their range just sucks so if you don't have to defend northern france from northern france you won't have any efficiency at all as always you can change the designs of the planes a little bit for example i usually put in armor plates or drop tanks depending on if i'm playing in europe or in bumpfuck siberia where there's air zones that are as large as half of europe also mongolia only has three states so you can't even build that many air bases in here and uh, well in europe you have much more air bases to pick from plus smaller air zones so stats are more important than the range because the range is only important for efficiency <laughs> And I guess headache because you don't have to move your planes every two meters. If we take a look at the fighters, the fighter is the one that heavily depends on your current technology. For example, if you have interwar tech, don't. The game starts in 1936, just get a 1936 tech. As for the 1936 tech, don't. I don't ever build this plane. The only nation that could make use of a plane like this is France. They're getting attacked by Germany. But like, apart from France, there's no nation that really needs planes in 1936. If I play Germany, or someone then i just get some more gun tech and some more rt tech and then just crush the ai that way especially because the ai is not prepared at all in 1936 but in case you still want to build a 1936 plane just put lmgs on it and then armor plates if you have them or lmg defense turrets the 1940 plane i have done some calculations with this one some tests between this and a plane that uses cannon ones this one just shreds the cannon one plane heavy mgs again best engine extra fuel tanks for some more range which increases our air efficiency self-sealing fuel tanks because it's just very good if you can afford the rubber like that that's the only bottleneck if you can afford the rubber if not then you can just leave it but it's a very good if i could i would use that multiple times <laughs> but you can only put it in once sadly that's what she said am i right fellas and then again, the final slot, just fill it. The 1944 plane, unless you're a content creator that plays until 196, I mean 2041, then you shouldn't ever have to go to cannons too, so you can just forget about cannons one. Cannons Oosh. one are just very bad. Uh, instead, you can just keep on pumping out HMGs. Like if you genuinely need something in very late game, then this is a good fighter, just Free two-time cannon twos on it and then just the standard stuff i did put in an lmg defense turret just because that way we have 30 thrust we still have the king which is your the exact same but with the modern small airframe and then we also have the kingest this one is a plane that you will build if it's 1980 germany controls all of europe and eurasia you are in america as anarchist spain you're the only other person left and you somehow have to conquer the world and germany has 40,000 planes i'm not speaking from experience here obviously <laughs> this is a plane that you should use then maximum amount of cannon twos jet engines two uh, just crush everything in your path before you build something like this i would advise you to get some air superiority over a single zone you know just bait the ai out just put up planes here and then here and here and then they'll move all of the planes away and then you can go to western france and then fw there we go and then you just nuke this 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 and this tile and then if the ai positioned planes in there they're suddenly short 8,000 planes we also have the cussy just two times small bomb base and then two times bomb locks non-strategic materials usage and then fill the rest i really like extra fuel tanks i just put them on any plane because like more range is very important after they rework the air rework of the air rework which also leads me to the next point after they reworked the air rework anti-tank cannons were pretty good but now they just they are so expensive and heavy so unless you're fighting in fucking luxembourg you 
are better off just using this template. We can only put in two small bombays sadly, but the small bombay is just the best one in terms of weight, cost and damage. Bomb logs are second in terms of that and the rest is just kind of, I don't even know why they added that. <laughs> just as worse stats, costs more, is heavier. You might be wondering why did we put non-strategic materials usage in here? It's actually one of the best things you can put in your cast because the cast only fights or should only be used after the enemy air force has been decimated. So you lose out on defense, which if there's no fighters doesn't matter. You lose out on production cost. Oh well, it costs less so you can produce more of them and it costs less aluminium which is also very good because you can then just use it for something else. Next thing we have the strat bomber. I, I don't see why you would ever build this thing but I guess you can. <laughs> Honestly, the, the actual design of the Strat Bomber doesn't matter at all. They can deal some damage, but I usually don't bother with them. I've done a planes only challenge and it's very hard to measure their actual effectiveness. You can use them for entrenchment, logistics and all that, but like, at that point, just use nukes. And then if you use nukes, you don't even need this. You can just use this. This does the exact same thing. And then if you do that, just do uh, this. And then you have more range on your stupid ass bullshit Strat Okay, you can't do this, but with this you have a range of 1300 almost. <laughs> Actually, let me build that for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Like We can nuke everything except for Japan and Australia. If we were in Italy, we could probably nuke everything except for Alaska. Like, whoa. What's the fucking point? Then the next thing is the nav plane. The naval bomber just uses the best torpedo mounting that you have on a small airframe with air ground radar too. And floats. Floats just give you more detection. Air ground radar gives you more detection again. And the night penalty. The night penalty doesn't really matter, but the detection is very nice. And a small airframe because it's cost effective. Then we have the carrier plane, which you can either go naval bomber, fighter or CAS. CAS is pretty much useless in my opinion because like CAS would only be worth it if you want to invade and then use your aircraft carrier for air support but at that point i would just drop next to air bases and then like drop in calais boom 2000 planes the aircraft carrier is like 30 what are 30 cas gonna do for you and fighters just use your ships as air defense instead of the bombers and then with the bombers you can actually deal some damage against the enemy ships and then uh, we have the rest of the bunch <laughs> the barrel that we can scrape and like <laughs> What the fuck is the point? I guess you can use recon. Just get some spies, man. Please. <laughs> and I guess you can do mine laying. But again, like at that point, just use naval bombers. They will actually deal damage instead of accident chance increases. Tactical bombers are just check of all trades. So they're useless and should never be used. Unless, of course, you enjoy using them then. More power to you. I made a division guide here, which you can watch, which is pretty much the same thing, except for it's just for divisions and the templates for divisions. And divisions 